Right. There's Crook's Peak and I'm going across the motorway up into that plantation wood over there. But before I do that, see these trees here? These, some of these trees are all connected to my little oak tree. This is a family. This is my little oak's family on the hill which are going to stick out for a long way. This whole row here belonged to my little oak. I found these little acorn last year in the summer or autumn, whenever it was. And this is this row of trees that stand tall and distinctive on this very important hill. A hill of significance. I've taken loads of photos. But this is a bit of the family tree of my oak tree. And it's they sort of go around, follow around like that. It's a lovely, lovely selection of oak trees. Tall, majestic. And I'll probably still be able to see them when I'm on the bridge. I'll carry on taking photos of them. <sighs> yeah, you always feel like you've got things crawling on you when you've been out. <laughs> Those ticks will be waking up, won't they? <sighs> but uh, this is the bridge. It's a redundant road, it doesn't go anywhere. There is leads off to one home, or a couple of homes here, Bradley Cottage, Bramley Cottage, and then across the bridge there's another like a farm over there, posh farm somewhere. And uh, if I just stand by this pole, I'll get another view of the trees, and they stretch right the way round there. And where I found my acorn was with those big trees at the top there but there are a big row of oaks tall oak trees I'll have to find out their proper name housekeeper's cottage there I've recorded this loads of times but I've never really had to think of the trees before because found the oak in the autumn. <clears throat> I'm sure the memory card will go in a minute. away and the beautiful beautiful line of oak trees on the hill very very distinctive they stick out that's the sort of tree my oak tree will be if he ever gets to live a hundred or two hundred years old. That's his family there. Tall, tall, majestic oaks. There's different types of oak. Because they're so prominent and protected, I think they must be good oaks. Basically, I'll be doing a little album for my oak tree. I just hope he survives. <clears throat> I just hope he does. I had to repot him and put him in a bigger plot, pot to, for his roots to spread. But I do worry about him a bit. As I move back, you can see the oaks on the hill. That's quite a substantial hill. Um, and I'm wondering if it's got any history, that bit of hill there, just before the wood. 
It's a lovely wood that. There's such a variety of um, types of tree there. And I've had a lovely wander through it today. On a beautiful spring day, everyone. I've had a really lovely day. What's so lovely about April and May? Summer's great as well, but we've gone through the long six month winter and then everything starts erupting. It's just, everything feels fresh and full of hope. And um, I do ramble on, I know, but these are my visual diaries. I must, I have to remind people now and again, I'm not doing a, a map reading I can map read, I can do compass, but basically I don't bother when it's a, a local territory. Occasionally I do. God, look at that, that's a great view, isn't it? Look at that. Let me zoom in on the oaks before they fade. So even if anything happens to my little oak that I've looked after since it emerged, oh no, it comes from this lot because this is where I, it was the, that end where I found the acorn and uh, oh you know such a lovely thing over and I'm going to take a picture of the scene right a very small video as I go up the little bunny lane one more view of the oak trees there's a line of oak trees at the base and that is the type of oak and it is where my little acorn came from that row of trees there but it was that end of that row in there on a very strategic part of the hill that the little acorn and it deserves a place like that to come back and that's where I'd like to put it really because I mean, it could get destroyed if anything happened to me or someone might just throw it out I've got a nice steak type pasty tonight that I'm going to have with a jacket potato and maybe peas. I haven't decided yet. This is all uh, wild garlic. They're all holding on till May. But it's always nice to do this walk at different times of the year. Otherwise you miss all these features because they, they don't last for long, not really. They're, they really come out. Their intoxicating smell is massive when they come out, the white garlic. But it's going to be another, I'd say, to really get it, it's going to be May. Even the, to get the best of it, the second week in May. But no later. No later. I mean, I can already smell it. But at the moment, the buds are very hidden. See? Might, actually, it might only be two weeks. It could be beginning of May. This is going to be like a white blanket. Absolutely massive here. I don't know if I've actually captured it here um, before. Because you've got to remember, I've only just started to do this part of the walk a couple, say two years ago, this bit, when I wanted to explore Banwell Wood. So I don't think I've seen this in massive white bloom yet. So one of my plans might be when I come to do the, I need to do the bluebells, they'll be out first. That's over the hill there. That's going to happen in the, in the next week. I was going to do it today, but I don't. I still think they need another week. Now, those lots of bluebells are out. Um, it's funny how you don't get the bluebells here. Now, over Longwood, they mix bluebells and white garlic. They complement each other. 
uh, plus a, a couple of other wild flowers pink flowers get thrown in over there yeah I'm not going to eat anything till I've got up the hill till I got to Canada Coombe because I'll get indigestion I always get indigestion if I eat cheese and then have to walk uphill because the stomach's got to have all the oxygen for digesting oh it's beautiful though that's one thing you can't do with the camera capture the smell, the aroma beautiful natural smells that actually don't do me any damage at all they don't give me an asthma attack or a nasty reaction, no it's beautiful isn't it everyone this is a gradual climb and of course um, in the winter months and the rainy season further up it's very very boggy but people have made sort of bypasses um, so that you can not have to walk through the puddles and I bet when I get to the very top I've seen horses go down into there when I get to the very top I reckon there might still be a puddle because it was such a deep trench but the water was two or three feet deep um, unless they've deliberately drained it now after I've done this climb over the next half an hour I'll level off for a little while then it, there's another climb look at that, this one, what's that? that's a different flower, that's not the wild garlic that's not the wild garlic, that's a I can't remember what you call them, but that's not the wild garlic it's like a snowdrop, but I don't, I don't know what you call it oh I'm glad, it's, it's always nice here because it's cool and uh, in the winter it protects you from any fierce wind as well right, I'm going to turn off for a minute folks take some photos I'll come back on when I get to the plantation area. <laughs>